What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Clean Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Hope y'all are having a great day. Hey, I just did a video uh, where I made a hitch for my Super Z uh, for my AgriFab spreader. This AgriFab spreader has gotten a lot of traction on uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, not Facebook, um, YouTube, and uh, you know a pretty good bit for my channel anyway. And uh, so, but one of the biggest questions has always been this. If you up here, when you have to stop and turn, how do you do that? How do you open and close, all right? All right. Well, I got a simple hack that I use for that. I don't know if it'll work for you. Uh, well, I know it'll work for you, but you may have to uh, you may have to do things just a little bit differently than what I've done it, depending on what your uh, setup is. As a matter of fact, the setup I have now, if you remember... Uh, the only thing you've ever seen this uh, this thing pulling, the only thing that's ever pulled this spreader has been the uh, Raptor SD. Well, I got rid of the Raptor SD uh, about six months ago, and so I no longer own that piece of equipment. And so the setup on this uh, Super Z uh, is probably going to be a little bit different. Now, the reason I put this on the Super Z is because uh, El Romo primarily uses the X1, and there'll be times that I may need this uh when they're out cutting and uh, of course he could use the super z i guess it wouldn't matter uh but in some respects the super z is a newer mower and certainly a better built mower even though it's a much older mower than uh the x1 and so uh they got their pros and cons but uh anyway that's not what this video is about this video is about how can you open and close that uh shoot for a moment so i'm going to show you the setup that i had last year i may have to modify that some this year uh but i'm going to show you what i did and all it takes is a simple piece of pvc pipe now what i've got here is a piece of quarter inch uh cp this is actually cpvc uh you know it's not super flimsy but a little flimsy um and what i have done is i have drilled a hole right there in the end and what i do is I take, let me see if I can set y'all up here and show you what I'm doing. All I did, now this is not going to be no, you know, crazy engineering here. All I did was this. And I'm obviously having trouble doing that now. All right, you see that right there? All right. Now, again, this seat has got a much higher back on it. And, of course, we got the, uh, we got the air up here. We got all this, uh, you know, this uh, breather assembly and all. That, that is certainly different than what I had uh, before. But all I did before was I got this bad boy here on whatever side I needed on. I hope you all can see this. And so that's where I'm running down the lanes. I got it like that. It can just drape across there, not hurting anything. And get back here where y'all can see it. Right? And then when I come to the end of my run, uh, now one of the things I do is I take the spreader and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the perimeter first. And so I'm not gonna go all the way to the end. But when I get close to the end, I'm gonna take that bad boy and I'm gonna lock it right back over there. Now again, with this, uh, this Super Z is pretty simple to drive. You can drive it with one hand and kind of work the handlebars like that. Uh, it's a little bit aggravating, um, but it has worked for me. Now, here's what I do. You could put a bolt through this. Uh, you could put you a small quarter inch bolt through that. Uh, if you wanted this to be more off to one side and lay on your fuel tank, you could actually put you a bracket across here, you know, and come out here or something and then run straight up. But um, I just use a simple tie wrap. And then what I do is uh, I keep a bundle of these in the landscape trailer. 
And the landscape trailer is usually the trailer I'm gonna have if I'm out doing this. If not, I just grab a handful of them. If you get out there and something happens, you break the tie strap, put another one on it, right? Uh, but that's really the only way I found not to get to the end of the run and then try to get off the mower, come back here, turn it off, and then you end up with a big spill on the ground and you gotta deal with that. It burns the turf and all that kind of stuff. So that's just a simple little fix. Uh, not a fix, I would say, but that's just a simple little uh, solution uh, that I came up with. Uh, I don't like to transport it with this on here, so I'm going to go get a pair of side cutters and, uh, you know, I could lay it over like that, I guess. I don't know. But I'll probably just get a pair of side cutters and just cut that thing off, and then when I'm ready uh, to use it, I'll put another one in it. Now, to put this in perspective, I only uh, fertilize and do weed and feed and stuff like that for just a handful of properties. It's not if you're out doing this every day and you know you're going to do this in the spring you're going to be doing yards every day and in the fall you're going to be doing yards every day or you're going to be uh maybe doing a not every day but maybe two days a week in the spring and the fall just getting your customers all buttoned up going into the dormant season or getting everything jump started coming out of the dormant season yeah maybe this is not the, maybe this is not the way you want to roll but uh for me it just works really good now i'm pretty i think you can get an electric actuator and put on there that you could control from up here you could do all that kind of stuff again here's what i got in this i buy a pack of them tie straps you know for ten dollars i get a hundred of them whatever it is and i got a piece of cpvc that was laying around the house so you can see what i got in this setup uh, and for what i do it works good i got 10 bags oh. <laughs> I gotta go put eight of those on the property. And that's what I'm gonna do it in. So anyway, I hope this video maybe helps somebody out, maybe gives you an idea. Occasionally, this is what happened. I love it in my videos. People will come back and say, well, you know what? Uh, I started out doing it like you were doing it, but then I thought it would be better if I did it this way. Man, that is what it's all about. Uh, I'm not trying to tell you uh, when I come up with a hitch or a blade sharpener or a way to open and close your pull behind spreader that, hey, this is the way you need to do it. It's just to get you thinking, man. And, uh, you know, if you if you take an idea that I have, uh, yeah, build on it. Make it better. Improve on it. Use your own, you know, imagination and ingenuity when it comes to it. So anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out. And, uh, you know, I uh, just want to share that with y'all real quick because I have gotten a lot of questions on my AgriFab video and I've answered them telling them what I did, but I've never actually showed anybody, I don't think. So there you go. There you have it. Real quick, because this is a video that is designed to help people. So if this was helpful to you, uh, hey, drop a comment down uh, here below the video. Let me know it helped you. If you improved on it, you said, man, I took your idea, but I figured out a way to make it a lot better. Hey, drop that comment down here. I'd love to hear from you. Hey, hope you enjoyed the video. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell of your blessings as from him. I hope you have a great, great day.